Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad for 12th graders, 2013, problem number 1. We wish to compute the following limit. Limit as n goes to infinity of integral, the integral from 0 to 1, e to the power of x to the power of n dx. So it's a rather simple problem once you know this very powerful theorem, namely the monotone convergence theorem. Very important theorem from analysis, from measure theory, in fact, which says basically, if you don't know it, look it up on Wikipedia. It says it has two versions. We will use the version for decreasing sequence of functions. So basically, you should show that this function right here, as n becomes larger and larger, uh, these values become smaller and smaller, and then since these functions are continuous, uh, the interval of integration is compact, you may wish using, you, you may use uh, the monotone convergence theorem to take this limit inside, and that trivializes this problem. So give this problem a try, and I will see you in just a minute. Right, so let's notice the following. First, if n is a natural number and x is between 0 and 1, maybe let's start with positive integers. If n is a positive integer and x is between 0 and 1, then e to the power of x to the power of n is greater than or equal e to the power of x to the power of n plus 1 and strictly greater than 0. Well, this inequality is obvious. Let's justify the first inequality. Notice that the first inequality is equivalent after taking natural log on both sides to saying that x to the power of n is greater than or equal x to the power n plus 1. And uh, this is equivalent in turn to saying that x to the power of n 1 minus x is greater than or equal to 0, which is true because x is between 0 and 1. Yes, so it's true. Moreover, so moreover, moreover, our functions, our functions are continuous. is continuous for every positive integer n. It's continuous, so the integrals, all of them, exist and, I f and are finite. So by the mono, by the, so by the monotone convergence theorem, By the monotone convergence theorem, the limit of our integrals, we can take a limit inside. And what's the limit as n goes to infinity? Well, it's pretty easy to see that uh, if x is between 0 and 1, then x e to the power x to the power of n, this converges to what exactly? Well, it converges to e to the power of 0, which is 1. And if x is b, if x is, is 1, then e to the power of x to the power of n, well, it's just e. It equals e, so it also converges to e, but it's just one point. So when computing the integral, we can ignore this single argument, and we can write that it's integral from 0 to 1 of uh, 1, of just 1. And that is, oh, of course, 1, and this is our answer, our limit, our limit of integrals equals 1, and that closes our problem. The only thing, I have used this powerful theorem, it's probably 
doable without this film. I'm curious if the students participating in Romania at this Olympiad were supposed to know this theorem from measure theory, but whatever, very nice problem. So thank you very much for watching, I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.